so here's the experiment um, that I'm going to be doing. Uh, what you see before you here is uh, four feet off of two horses that I acquired Sunday. I actually acquired the feet off of four horses. Um, these were four horses from a rescue that um, had to be put down due to, um, well, they were the oldest ones there. Um, they were all pasture mates. Um, they had been acquired at a sale and um, the rescue had just a lot of horses and uh, not enough feed for the winter, things like that. So these were the four oldest unadoptable horses. They were all pasture mates. They were all standard breds. Three of them came from the Amish that got dumped at a sale. And one of them, not sure where one came from, but she had been raced and uh, she won over a million dollars. So. So that was her reward, was to get dumped at a sale. Um, just like when you work for the Amish and your whole life. Uh, then instead of getting a merciful bullet to the brain or retired, you get sent to a killer sale where you're shipped to Mexico or Canada for somebody to eat. All right, so that's the reward of a, of a lifetime servant you see. So anyway, um, we're grateful to have their feet. Um, the most merciful thing happened to them, that they were bought from a sale, that they lived their lives uh, for the next four years in a 25-30 acre pasture. Um, they were fed well, they were all fat. Um, not overly fat, but you know, they're all well fleshed. Um, they self trimmed the whole time. And their feet are in, actually, except for one horse that was totally and completely blind, um, their feet were all in excellent shape. And even the one that was totally blind, other than being uh, long and splayed out. His feet were all together. None of them were foundered. Um, they were all, all in good shape. Now, now one was totally blind. They, these horses were between 25 and 30 years old. One of them that was totally, completely blind. One of them was blind in one eye. Um, one of them uh, had a really messed up back and uh, the, the man that gave them gave the feet to me anyway I'd take them off but he let me go out and get them um, he said that he thinks that uh, the horse was pulling a bucky that got rear-ended because he was really messed up in his hips and back and uh, then one of them was a race mare that had won a million dollars okay so really grateful for their feet and uh, uh, I'm going to put their names when I do all the pictures and everything like that. I'm going to put their names and uh, how old they were, what breed they were, and uh, that kind of stuff. What was what maybe was wrong with them, things like that. So anyway, they were unadoptable, and uh, they lived a good life. They didn't suffer at all. Uh, their death was instantaneous and they were all buried together in a grave. That's an honorable death and that is merciful and I'm grateful for their feet. So anyway, I spent yesterday cleaning up the feet and getting them ready to freeze and I got to thinking because see I have a freezer full of feet out there and I got the feet from I can't remember it's four or five horses from someone who has been a professional barefoot trimmer for over 16 years. This person trained, went to Germany and trained with Dr. Hildred Strasser and then came back to the United States and studied under several other people, big name people, uh, people that we would call hoof gurus and uh, 
so she sent me the feed off of four, four horses that all had to be put down because of lameness issues. Founder or something like that. Well, the personal horse of this person, all right, who's a, a super nice person. Uh, but I, and know something's going on with that kind of trimming, but doesn't know all the details yet. Um, they had a horse, and that horse finally had to be put down because of tendon issues. And the reason for that is, you'll see, because we're going to dissect that foot. I've already dissected one foot. I've got pictures of it that I'll put up. Um, because what barefoot trimming is not just to make horses barefoot. Okay, What they call natural barefoot trimming is a a form is a method of trimming based on a certain belief about what the foot should look like. And the foot that is used is a foot that was taken off a mare that died in a roundup and she had totally worn her heels out. And so barefoot trims are done to mimic the way that foot was worn to make every foot look similar to that. Um, it's also based on uh, thinking that the horse has to have frog pressure so you have to take those heels down to where you have frog pressure. Um, I'm gonna show how historically um, that has always caused issues with horses. So anyway I got to thinking about the feet that this person sent me off of these four or five horses. Like I said, I can't remember exactly how many. Maybe it was four. Anyway, uh, three of them were standard breeds, just like these you see in front of you here. And, and that's what those feet are over there. Now, the white ones in the back, I believe that was some sort of Arab cross. But all these feet in the front, they were... Uh, standard bread. So what we're going to see is we're going to see the difference between a barefoot trim and what that trim does to these feet and what these horses wore their feet naturally as for three or four years here. And even as I was studying them, I went and I got these feet out of the freezer, I noticed marked differences in how distorted and deformed these feet actually are over here. Well, one of them was totally foundered. And uh, I'm going to show you how that's mechanical founder that can be caused by what is called barefoot trimming. Now, barefoot trimming, natural barefoot trimming, I did that from 2005 to 2014. And I and many other people had serious issues with it, with our horses. It's just that we refuse to blame it on what our horse ate. Okay, um, I quit barefoot trimming in 2014, kind of just quit it all. But then I came back in 2015 and discovered that uh, we have been trimming the heels out of our horses to mimic our, uh, a trim that makes the foot look like one dead wild horse that wore its heels out. Now I can prove this. And these aren't my words, okay? It's all over the internet. So what I'm gonna do is I will be dissecting one of these feet this good healthy foot that the horse it, it may not look like the natural trim like what we're used to seeing you know where everything looks all tidy but I guarantee it these horses had tremendous feet and we're gonna take one of these feet we're gonna take it apart we're gonna look at the inner foot and see the conditions it's, it's in and then we're gonna take one of these feet and we're gonna take it apart same breed of horse only these feet over here were trimmed by a barefoot trimmer. So we're going to see the stark difference in health. Well, first of all, these horses, other than the fact they had issues like being blind, half blind, and 
a back issue. Technically, their feet were all sound. Okay, over here, none of these horses were sound. And they'd been regularly trimmed with the barefoot trimming style, the Strasser style, which is technically all barefoot trims go back to that and go back to uh, Jamie Jackson's one dead wild horse that wore her heels out. So uh, I'm really looking forward to this, forward to sharing this with you as we we go through these feet and we see the stark difference between what a barefoot trim does to a horse and what their foot is truly supposed to be like naturally okay well i mean even already just on a on a uh, slight look here looking at these feet and those feet i notice big difference in the back of the foot and the frog um, it's quite amazing. So this is really going to be awesome. And anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and uh, look forward to doing these dissections. And we're really going to see the difference. We're going to see just how much. See, when you trim those heels incorrectly, it reduces the size of the hoof capsule. And it compresses the whole back of the inner foot into a container that is too, actually too small for the foot. Now sometimes they'll stay together, like at the, that foot there on the far right, and also the foot in the middle, and then other times they just won't stay together and you get full-blown laminitis where the foot just wants to pull up out of the capsule because it, it's just not meant to be in that small of a container. And so we have one full-blown foot with laminitis there. And Okay, I obviously stopped the video, so I have to take a picture here and finish what I was going to say. So as you see, the foot here on the left, um, the black foot, not the one where you see the big abscess blow out in the heel there. That's another common thing in barefoot trimming because you're trimming, you're, you're incorrectly trimming the heels. It's pulling the hoof capsule down over the internal physical heel and covering up where sole should be growing and so the the feet abscess but um, that's a whole other video series there but this black foot here full-blown laminitis with severe rotation um, and a huge laminar wedge okay we're going to dissect that foot now that was a standard bread and she had good feet on the on the back but not on the front I'm going to show you why that is and how this is caused this was mechanical trimming induced mechanical laminitis so anyway it's going to be interesting taking these feet the feet off of four horses that literally trim themselves naturally and the feet off of four horses that were trimmed by a natural barefoot trimmer and every single one of these well no some of the back feet were not messed up sometimes the back feet escape and if the horse has any good frog at all they they escape being over trimmed a lot of times because a lot of people just take the heels down to the height of the frog um, other people take the heels back down to the base of the frog and yet other people uh, trim off the whole back of the frog and bevel the heels so that the horse falls back on the frog. We're going to go through all that stuff in the video series I'm going to do here. And so I look forward to sharing the dissection of these feet with you and seeing what we can learn from it. All right, well, thank you and for watching and have a great day and happy trimming. May your horses be sound.